In this course, we use IPython Notebook, which is an interactive browser-based programming environment for Python. If you haven't yet installed IPython Notebook, you should go to the setup instructions for the course and install it before continuing. Once you have it installed, the setup had you create a Webucator directory in your root folder. Then change into that directory and run IPython Notebook from there by typing the IPython Notebook command. That will open up a new browser window running IPython Notebook. This will display all the files in the home directory. For us, that's the Webucator folder which we just created. So it's currently empty. Let's create a new notebook by going to New and selecting Python 3. To name the notebook, click on Untitled here and enter a name, My First Notebook. The notebook is made up of cells which can be run independently. Once the cell is run, any objects created in that cell will be available for the whole notebook. For now, let's just print Hello World. We run this by pressing Control Enter. Now let's go back to our home directory and we see it automatically updates to list our new notebook. Back to my first notebook. There are several ways to add new cells. We'll do it from the insert menu. And enter 1 plus 1 and run it. Notice the word out here with the 2 in square brackets. That shows us that it's the output from the second input. Notice up here that there's no out by hello world. That's because the print function doesn't output anything. It just prints. To illustrate, let's assign this call to print to result and then print result. Notice it prints hello world and then prints none, meaning result contains none because the print function didn't return anything. Let's insert another cell below this one and create our own print function that does return something. It prints the past in text and then returns I printed plus the text. Now I'll add another cell and call this function. It behaves the same as the built-in print function except result now contains a string. Let me fix that real quick and add a space. There, that's better. Now let's add a line to output, not print, but output result. And you can see that we now get the outline showing that the output for the eighth input is I printed hello world. Note that the output will only be shown for the last command. To illustrate that, let me add 2 plus 2 to the bottom of this cell. You can see that it only outputs 4, not the 2 from the 1 plus 1 command. All right, let's get the class files. You may already have done this as part of the class setup, but just in case, I'll walk you through it. Back on the Home tab, select New, Python 3, and name the new notebook Temp. In the first cell, enter this text and press Control Enter. The percent %load is a magic command for loading a script from a URL or file path. We'll get into magic command soon. Now we run the script that was loaded, which prompts us for a course ID. The course ID for this course is PYT211. So I'll enter that and press Enter. Now the script downloads and unzips a zip file into the current directory which is a Webucator directory we created at the command line. We have to wait for it to finish and then we can close this tab. If you get an alert like this one when you try to close the tab, the code may not be finished running. So wait a bit and then try to close the tab again. Back on the Home tab, you should now have a class files folder and some other files. Very good, now you have your class files. Next up you'll do a reading, which is some review but also introduces some shortcut keys. I encourage you to play with them as they're super useful. Then you'll do a couple of review exercises doing some of the same work I've shown here. Then you'll do a reading on Markdown, which is a formatting language used in IPython notebooks. I'll review that in a presentation. If you're new to IPython notebook, I think you're going to really enjoy using it in this course.